The other thing that I wanted to draw attention to that you hit on is that a lot of these list one and list two exclusions are coming out as what I would call more general exclusions, which means that you didn't have to apply for the exclusion, but if the exclusion is granted, it's granted to everybody who imports said product. Um, and that those do go back to the beginning of when this section 301 process started. Now, there is a couple of catches in there because we're already, you know, we've seen list one exist for long enough now that some of those entries are starting to liquidate. So we don't have the traditional method of going back and filing a post summary correction within the 314 ish day window, right? We're starting to look at, um, you know, can we protest these? And I don't know if you guys have had any luck in that regard because some of this stuff we have, you know, we filed the entry in let's say December. We're obviously not to the liquidation window yet. The general exclusion comes out and now we're able to go back and we're able to file those post summary corrections. So, and then get some folks some money back. But what about those entries filed, you know, early July last year? You know, we're past that PSC window. You know, those entries, if they haven't liquidated are kind of in that last 20 day window of that 314 days that says you can't file a PSC. So we're waiting until liquidation to do anything. You know, have you seen or heard or had any success in protesting some of those early well, entries? You, you do have to protest them to preserve your claim because if the protest deadline, which is, 300, which is uh, 180 days after liquidation passes and you get the exclusion, but you haven't filed a protest, you're out of luck. There's nothing customs can do. They're bound by law. They can't refund the money. So right. you file protective protests, what they call them, and you say, there's a pet, you know, I import product ABC, there's an exclusion request pending with the USDR on this very product. You know, we ask that you suspend review of this protest until the exclusion is either granted or denied. Uh, and then you have to follow up. Uh, but if you have that protest on, on the record and customs denies it anyway, you have a much stronger claim to bring to court. I don't think they'll deny it if you get that in because they've come out and said in a message that they understand this problem mm -hmm. and they will accept protests that are kind of placeholders. Um, so that's what you need to do. If you, if you have a list one product that has a pending exclusion request, you need to start looking at the liquidation dates and then mapping out six months from there when the protest would be due if you want to get money back should the exclusion be granted. Right. So, you know, there's a lot that, that's going into this right now. I, I, I know, you know, my, my brokerage teams that, that work across my offices, you know, we see these big general exclusions come out, run lists, and we have clients getting, you know, high six-figure money back from these exclusions. But, you know, make sure that, you know, if, if your broker is not communicating that, is that, you know, you as an importer are taking a good look at what exclusions did come out. Is there an opportunity to go back and get some of that money back? Because as you said, there's a lot of money on the table here. You know, 25% against, you know, $50, $200 billion worth of goods is a lot of money. Um, and so we, we've had a lot of, you know, folks take advantage of those. Right. And, and you know, you, the importer, you know, the importer's kind of got to take the initiative here in a lot of cases, because maybe you took the, uh, the position that look, there's a 25% tariff, everybody's got to pay it. I'm just going to live with it. But then somebody in your industry files an exclusion request, and if they're successful, you know, you're entitled to money back too. But uh, you know, your broker, or whoever you're working with, you know, may not know um, that you know you made that decision to not file an exclusion request. They're not going to know, uh, or they're not going to be able to go out, and I, they may not be able to go out and let you know, hey, look, an exclusion's been granted on this. Uh, I think the importers really got to take the initiative there. Uh, you know, if they haven't communicated to the broker that this is something you're looking for, you know, there's got to be that company initiative. 